Hi everyone, this is Sam from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll talk about how compress and decompress options works at file margination in Cloud B2B or IACS. So, the agenda of this video is compress and decompress options at FMI task and scenarios when using compress, decompress and both at time followed by a quick demo. Now, compress and decompress options at FMI task. So, compress is nothing but it will compress the files and then the FMI job will move the file to the target directory. One of the methods that are present are zip, ggzip, tar, bzip2. Any one of the methods you can use in order to compress a file. And passwords, if you want, you can provide the password as well for the protection. And decompression is nothing but whatever the zip file, that will be get unzip. If you have a gunzip, ggzip file, it will get gunzip. If you have a tar file, that will get untarred. After untarring, the FMI job decompresses the files, it will move to the target directory. Now note, FMI job performs action based on the order you specify at the action step. So in the sequential order, it will get executed. Now scenarios when using compress, decompress and both at a time. For example, I am using only compress at the action step at FMI job they as, and zip as an action type. You can use star or any other action type as well. So the same will be applicable to everything. Source directory, uh, consider we have aa.txt. Then the aa.txt will be moved as aa.zip file to the target. Because we have mentioned as compressed, so this file will be compressed based on the zip. And source directory, if it contains aa.txt and bb.zip, so then aa.txt will be moved as aa.zip and bb.zip will again zip as bb.zip. So this bb.zip will actually be placed in that bb.zip. So if you see bb.zip, it internally contains the actual file of the bb.zip. Because we have mentioned as compressed. So all the files which are present in the source directory will be compressed again. Now decompress, unzip as an action type. Now in the source directory, if you have a.txt file, then directly the FMI job will fail with an error, unzip failed for file a.txt. Because a.txt is a normal file. It is not a compressed file. So then how you are mentioning? That's why the FMI job will get failed. And the error code you can see 9002 and 809. 8 unzip the center directory was not found and if you are having a.txt and bb.zip uh, files both in the source directory then also it will fail with the same error because the a.txt is not a is a normal file it is not a, a compressed file even though there is a compressed file it won't parse this it won't decompress this and move to the target so if you see compress and decompress both are working on the source directory only but when you are using compress then FMI task will compress the file to an appropriate files, even though there is a already a zip file. But when you come to the decompress, the source directory should contain only compressed files. If you are having any non-compressed files in the source directory, then the FMI job will directly fail. Next, if you are using both compress and decompress, that means first you are using compress option with a zip and decompress option with an unzip at the action step in FMI job. Then if you are having a.txt and bb.zip, then what happens? First compression should happen. a.txt will be compressed as a.zip and the decompression will happen again. a.zip will be decompressed to a.txt. So a.txt will be moved to the target. And bb.zip will be zipped again as a bb.zip. Again decompression will happen. bb.zip will be moved directly to the target. And if the source directory contains bb.zip, then directly bb.zip will get compressed as a bb.zip one more zip file. And again, that will get decompressed. So the remaining file will be bb.zip. It will be actually moved to the target. Now, if I change the sequence of order, because as I mentioned, right, sequence is very important when you are dealing with the action step FMI job. So if I change the sequence as yes, decompress and compress, then what happens? A.txt, first decompression will happen. So uh, if you see A.txt and bb.zip, decompression, if it happens, then this is a normal file. So then obviously as per rule two, then if you are having a normal file, then it will definitely fail. Unzip fail for a file a.txt. Even though there is bb.g, the decompression won't happen. So let's start with a quick demo. So this is an FMI job. In the action tab, you need to mention the appropriate action, compress, and the action type as zip. Now let me save. If you want, you can provide your password as well. I'm not providing anything for now. And click on save. Now click save. Now let's run the FMI job. Now before running the FMI job, I am showing the source directory, which is FMI2, so a.txt and bb.zip. Now, as per the compression, a.txt should be moved as a.zip and bb.zip should again be zipped as bb.zip 
So that means in the target directory, it should be bb.jeep and again it should contain bb.jeep. And you can see the FMA job ran successfully and this is a recent one and we can see. So let me click on the my jobs and it is getting run. And you can see a.txt, it is success, copy from source and bb.jeep also success copied from source and it is actually moved as a.jeep to the target and bb.jeep again to the target. Let me show you the target files. Now this is a source and fmi2 underscore tgt. You can actually see a.jeep is having one more. So you can see, so this is an a.txt file. And if you see the bb.jeep, so bb.jeep will again internally have bb.jeep one more zip file because the we have mentioned as encryption. So that's the, we have mentioned as compress. So you can see bb again one more zip file. Now in the same way, if I mention in the actions tab as unzip, so I'm going to remove this. I'm going to mention as a decompress and the unzip. So with the same set of files, now what will be the a.txt? It is a normal file. Then if you, when you run, so directly the FMA job will get failed. Even though bb.jeep compressed file is there, it won't get decompressed. Now let's see the job run. So it got failed if you see, and we can see the error message clearly telling batch failed, unzip failed for a.txt. For bb.jeep also, it will throw the same error and a.txt also, it will throw the same error and the raise error, you can see the central directory was not found. So that's the reason when you're keeping it decompressed, then to your source directory should contain only the compressed file. It should not contain any normal file. Now in the third condition, I am going to mention compress as well as decompress. So compress zip and I'm going to mention one more. So here sequence is very important. If you change the sequence, then the order of execution will get changed. So unzip. Now let me save this. And if I rerun, then what happens is, let, let us see. Now we can see the job succeeded. A.txt from the source, it is copied as A.txt only to the target. Because what happened? A.txt first com uh, compress will occur A.zip and then again decompress will occur and then only A.txt will be moved to target. BB.zip is, is also the same thing. BB.zip first compress again one more zip file and again it will get decompressed. So only BB.zip will go to the target. Let me see the target location. Now we can see, so A.zip is actually compressed and again decompressed and BB.zip, uh, if you see directly, this folder contains the BB.txt and it doesn't contain any other zip file inside it. Now, what if I change the order of the execution? So the order of the execution I'm going to change. First, I'm going to use a decompress and then I'm going to use a compress. Then let's see what happens because ideally it should fail as per our PPT because the a.txt is having a uh, source directory is having a normal file and we are mentioning as a decompress. Let me remove one more uh, decompress here. And we are mentioning as decompress and then compress. Then when you run the actual job, then it will directly fail with an error telling that a.txt file is unable to unzip. Now let me show you that. So this is a job. Now if you see the job, right? So, so a.txt, so I decompressed. Now let me see the, so let me remove the target directory. Let me specify. So if you see there is some issue happened at the action step, let me re, uh, re uh, edit once again. Let me use this. Now I have refreshed the page once again. And if you, see, you can see decompress, compress, I mentioned. And let me save and let me run the mapping. Now we'll see, and let me run the MI job. Now we'll see the output. So when we run an MI job, so we know that if the decompress, if you mention, and if there is any normal file, you can see a.txt file is there. So obviously the FMI job immediately failed with an error telling that unzip is failed for a.txt file. Now let me open that job. So 
the job code fail and we can see the error message so which is mentioned unzip fail for file a.txt for the bp.zip file as well a.txt so that's the reason when you are having any normal file so in the action tab you just if you keep decompress and if you are having normal file then obviously the fma job will get fail you can go through these references which is file mass ingestion actions so this document will tell you clearly the compress and decompress options you can provide your feedback and support videos at informatica.com thank you for watching this video